mentors, this is the seventh theme, mentors, friendships, and community wisdom is the safety net. Mentors, friendships, and community wisdom is the safety net. So, mentors, you know, we, we know that we need to change something in our life. Okay, great. We speak to the friend who we consider a mentor, or we find a piece of information or a video or a book that's going to help us to become the next version of ourselves. That's the traditional mentor role. A, a good influence, someone who guides you, educates you, leads you. So, make sure you've got some mentors in your life. Equally, friendships. What friendships do you have that you can count on? And I think a lot of people, from what I understand, have become more hermit-like over the last few years, simply because of what we experience as a world. It's time to reactivate those important friendships to you. If you've been hiding away from them or not making contact with the people who light you up, it's time to re-energize re those. And then community wisdom. So, mentors, friendships, and community wisdom. That is our safety net. You know, we do thrive and survive when we are able to support, hold, and influence each other. And I know there will be some of you out there who are like, ah, oh, I don't know about humans. I've said this before. I prefer nature. I prefer animals. Well, then that's your mentors, your friends, and your community wisdom. Boy, oh boy, nature holds a ton of wisdom. So, it's really important that we make sure that we're plugging into other influences. It can be very easy to feel alone spiritually, or as a human being, or at a time like this on Earth. The safety net is to plug into your good people, your good forces, your good influences. So, encourage yourself to do that this month if you've been hiding away a little bit. And the eighth and final theme for this month is allow love in. Allow love in. So, that's from other people, other sources, and it's also from yourself, because it will magnify in us when we do allow love in. You know, my guide's disease said, the heart is a magnet when it's full. That when we're full, and our hearts feel full, and we feel connected, we're very magnetic, because we're, we're holding and living with that energy inside us. So, some days, you've got to find it yourself. You know, some days, the world outside you doesn't seem to be sending good vibes your way. So, you go, okay, what are the things, the practices, the tools, the music, the things I like to read, the things I like to do that I can just plug into for 5, 10, 15 minutes? I will bring my focus back to love. And equally, on other days, we have those earth angels out there who give us that big smile or that hug, or someone reaches out and it touches you, and you were a little untouchable or a little held back, allow love in. And that also is why we have to stick with our mentors, our friends, and our community wisdom at the moment. We need that net, that energy net. So, allow love in from others and yourself, because it will magnify when you do. You will become full, and you will be able to emanate and give more. For those of us who are sensitive, intuitive, or walking a spiritual path, it is our practices and the support that we have in our life that often is the key to how well we can walk through life. Nine years ago, I created the portal to be an answer to that need for members of my community who wanted to go more in-depth with my work. And while my work is still very much a centerpiece of the portal, we have now added other teachers, other voices, other offerings, so that the portal can become a well-rounded place for you to receive nourishment and be uplifted, shifted, and supported every single month. My aim with the portal has always been to offer you as much value for your membership as possible. And I feel like in the last year or so, we have really been able to maximize that. So, we look forward to welcoming you to the portal, and we hope it is a place that can nourish your mind, your body, and your soul.